Welcome to part 144 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 12. Why the fuck are we back here? Oh wait, that's right, we've got one more Esper to kill. And I'm going the wrong way. Make no mistake, folks. I took the liberty of putting the directions to get to Ultima and Omega Mark 12 in the description of both videos. This one and the RV Man LP Exhibition Episode 11. To save myself the trouble of telling you how to get here. So without further ado, let's get this damn fight over with. It's not going to end well anyway. Alright Ultima, show yourself so I can kick your ass. And folks, where there's an Omega, there's an Ultima. She is Virgo's representative. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that I think about it, why did this bitch have to be my representative? Yeah, that's right. My birthday falls on a Vir Okay, my zodiac sign's a Virgo, and my birthday falls in the year of the Virgo. Well, month of the Virgo. So, technically speaking, yeah, this thing is my representative for everyone who says, RV man, how come you make fun of all representatives? Whatever happened to yours? Well, uh, yeah, Virgo's representative is the biggest bitch in the whole wide world. And do you want to know why? Doesn't that field look familiar to you? Yeah, that's Quetelaine's field. That's right. This bitch has all the fields in the game. <clears throat> and with 260 HP, she is halfway dead. But she is a rather big bitch. Oh great, now it's gone to Reflexius Field. Don't let her drain out your magic like talking about it. Use it on a quickening to do more damage to- Aw, oh, you bitch! I'll be out of magic! Whether I use Dispelka or whether I use a quickening, it doesn't matter. I'll be out of freaking magic! Ugh. I really hate this bitch. Oh, there was one attack she's not using, and that's due to the fact that we're all wearing Holy Mask. It's an attack called Redemption. And boy does it hurt a lot. And it's a holy damaged attack. So if you're not wearing Holy Mask, guess what? You're gonna be eating two grand. Automatically. And that sucks! No one wants to eat two grand. Also, she does one of the cheapest things ever. Ah, oh, crap. I ran out of time on a quickening. But she does one of the cheapest things ever. Her holy jaw! Cast reverse! on your whole entire party and when that happens guess what oh I might as well just show you because it's about to happen to me right about now but thanks to the white mask the only thing I suffer is the effects which is reverse <coughs> excuse me and as a dick move, Ultima will cast Renew, dropping whoever's in reverse HP down to 1. Well, that sucked. Ugh. 
Yeah, I'm completely out of magic. And even if I had magic, I would drain it all. So basically, the stats, I mean the uh, stipulations are like this. First Quachelaine, then Rafflesia. Next thing will be, you won't be able to use items. No, actually, you won't be able to use magic, period. No, wait, it's not being able to use items. Yeah, I think it, that's what it is. Yeah, it's not being able to use items. They're not being able to use... Magic. They're not being able to use Technics. They're not being able to use physical attacks and of course not being able to move fast because of the fact you wear heavy armor. Then afterwards it's a reprieve, then she repeats. But it But of course she casts Reflecta being the bitch that she is, so if you use Kiraga or Renew, she'll regain her health back and she'll be in last stand mode. Rotten bitch. And she did it again. My character's gonna be dying a lot. Thankfully, I've done better than what I did, because my whole entire party wasn't wiped out. Oh wait, this is the part where she blocks attacks. That's right. So now we're in... I do believe... No, I think it's Chaos's mode. We can use telekinesis, but that's it. And if I wasn't think and if I was thinking about that, we would have. Oh, another thing you can use at this point? A mega elixir to fill up your MP to get quickenings going as soon as humanly possible. Eventually, eventually she'll drop this field. But in my opinion, Ultima is just flat out annoying. I hated this fight. But not as much as I'm going to hate the next one. Ah, oh, you cheap bitch, not again. Oh, and you can't get rid of the reflect. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> you can't get rid of the Reflect. You really can't. Not on Ultima, anyway. Because Ultima has it automatically on her. Ugh. This fight... I swear to God, this fight sucks. With all this shit on Ultima, you'd think this would be an enjoyable fight, right? No, I'm lucky I used my stronger team instead of my weaker team, or else we'd be here for a while. Then again, the video's more than 20 minutes, so... See what I'm getting? Ah, oh, motherfuck you! Hmm, excuse me. My voice is parched because I am pissed. But still, motherfuck you. And the Masamune is doing its work. That's one thing I like about this battle. She's almost dead. All she's doing is just delaying the fucking inevitable. Oh, and at this point, you might want to set up some item gambits. Not map, item gamuts. Because you can't use magic and that means you'll have to actually, uh... Resort to using Phoenix Downs.
trust me, in the next game I'm playing, none of this bullshit will happen. Yeah, none of this last stand bullshit or none of this instant death crap bullshit. Well, except for one boss on that game, but that's it. <clears throat> none of that bull none of none of the bullshit that you see in this game will happen in the next game I'll be playing. I promise you. Ugh, damn, my sinuses again. I'm not well. Excuse me one second, let me cure this little sinus problem right now. I'll be right back. I'm back. I have to take some sinus medicine just to make sure my nose isn't stuffed up. Now, make sure that your, that most, if not all of your party members have X potion gamuts at this point of this uh, fight because at this point in the fight she will take away your ability to use magic so it's basically like Zeramos all over again only for a short period of time so <clears throat> Holy Chuck can be a pain in the ass but at the same time at least it doesn't kill you. It'll kill you in the second hit, not the first hit. Okay. Let me rephrase that. Basically what she does after Holy Just a Pain. And oh sweet Jesus, not again. Oh, the reverse, the reverse, and the renewed. Son of a bi- Ah, oh, You got to be shitting me! <coughs> She's almost dead! Come on! Oh, now great- Oh, great, now we can't use Technics. As if I wanted to anyway. Stop healing her! If you have a Mega Elixir, use that bitch. That's all I have to say to that. And then, at this point, spam quickenings. <coughs> because if she doesn't beat your ass and kill off your entire party with Holy Ja followed by Kiraja, if somehow, way, shape, or form, you happen to survive. Holy Jug via the white mask or if you don't have the white mask on she'll just spam redemption till she wipes out your party so it's your best bet to take her out plus you can't get rid of her buffs cause the, the difference between this greater barrier and all the other greater barriers is You don't have time to waste magic on trying to get rid of her buffs. She will screw you over. So just do whatever you can. Take down that HP of hers as quickly as humanly possible. The faster, the better. But you might want to beware. <coughs> It'll be at the point of last stand that Ultima will now do Sap Strike. Followed up by Holy Joe won't be a bad thing. Because the inflicted person with Sap and Reverse will slowly but surely heal. It's when Kiraja actually hits. That's when the real problems begin. Or, or renew. Because 
Sap. Actually, no. It's Kiraja because Renew, if it's at one, then Sap will no longer work. But. Yeah, she has Sap Strike. And your best bet is to use a remedy as quickly as humanly possible before you pretty much die. Oh, and there's certain points where she actually has stop strike as well. Some LPRs actually fell victim to that. And Cataclysm's not going to do much to her either. It may hurt her, but not by much. Oh, and now she's going to do Holy Jump faster. Oh, goody. Let's hope she misses this time. No, someone's been reversed. If none of your characters get reversed, that's a good thing. Because she'll be spending her time casting Reflecta on your party. Why sacrifice? Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch on a holy grail. Now we can't use items. Even though that's a bad thing, in a way since that's a good thing. Cause so you don't have to worry too much of healing unless you used up all your magic. Like I did. Ah, uh, you weak, weak bitch. Okay. This is the part where it's going to start getting dangerous. Seriously. I don't want this to last too much. Oh, god damn it. At this point in the game, folks, put on light... Oh, damn it, she has to sap. At this point in the game, folks, put on light armor as quickly as you humanly possibly can so you can actually move faster. I'm putting on Opal Ring so she'll stop healing her damn self. From our characters gambiting Kiraja and it bouncing off of us and hitting her. Yeah, you see how slow that shit is? That's because of the fact that everybody has the Maximilian and the Maximilian is a heavy armor. I mean, light armor. I didn't think light armor would actually slow things down. But it's mystic armor that's supposed to, uh, speed you up. Or well, keep your speed the same. Even if you have been slowed down or something like that. I don't know. As far as that's concerned, because I killed Vincicar before I could actually find out. But the fact of the matter is... If you need... The fact of the matter is, you temporarily need light armor just for this. So you can move around freely. But fact remains, she's being a pain in the ass, so she needs to die. This is too much for me to take. I mean, she has a little speck of her freaking life left. She's just... Oh, son of a bitch, she went back to the... Oh no, 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 no. She needs to die, she needs to die fast. Not just because I'll run out of X potions, but she needs to die quickly. Otherwise, otherwise I'll have no choice but to go to my, oh god damn it. God damn it, why? 
Why must you resist? Why must you delay the inevitable? Just die already! Oh, god damn it, she didn't kill Dash! Just strike her down, boss! Screw it! Just strike her down! Kill her! Finish it! She does not deserve to live! One more for the road, man! Finish this bitch off! Yes! Ah, oh, thank you, God! That makes 12 espers. And that means I no longer have to come back to Kirabagan ever again! And this frigid bitch of an esper! has won as overpowered as this battle is is not one of the best experts in the game her final attack requires both you and her to be below 30 percent health in order for her to use and even then it's 9,999 damage max with that said Ultima is ours and that leaves only one more esper Yeah, that's right, we got Ultima the High Seraph. But with that said, we're finally free! We don't have to come back to Garabagan! We don't have to come back to Garabagan! <laughs> I can't fucking believe it! We don't have to go back to Garabagan! <laughs> Bless the gods almighty! We don't have to come back to this frigid place! Garavagan can fornicate itself with an iron rod. I am done. I'm not taking on Omega Mark 12 again because I already did. So there's no more reason for me to be here. I don't care about the Excalibur. There's no more reason for me to be here. Yes. And as I save, I'll be the dude to this rotten shithole and have to go back to another rotten shithole. Ugh. It's that thing. In the next episode, I have to go to the deepest part of the Hene Mines to find it. This is RV Man L M985. Ah, oh, God, I'm just frustrated. Let's just end the part. Let's just end the part, because thinking about it makes me pissed off. See you guys in part 145.